Thanks for checking out this video. Obviously, this is another one of my haul videos for Blu-rays I've purchased recently. Some giallo in there, you might be able to tell. This is not easy, so I'm actually just going to take this down. I just wanted that kind of for the thumbnail of it. Uh, like I've been doing, I'm going to go through one by one what Blu-rays and actually one DVD I got recently. And this isn't all from one place. It's, it's from a few different places. So I'll kind of tell you each place and why I purchased from them. Uh, so this is kind of like my odds and ends haul video, basically. So uh, the first two are connected. Well, the first three are from the same place. So I don't purchase from Amazon. Uh, the main reason being I think they're way too large of a company. I don't like when companies get too big because they are consolidating what products are sold there. And therefore, you end up with a lot less jobs in smaller communities where there could have been many more companies creating many more jobs. It's all, you know, consolidated under one roof of Amazon and they cover so much stuff. So it's not a good thing. And the kind of concentration of wealth is also a big problem. But that said, if you choose to purchase from Amazon, I do not judge you. This is just my personal thing. It's all good. So every now and then, I end up having to purchase from Amazon um, very infrequently. Like if there's something I have to have to get and I can't find it anywhere else other than Amazon, it's very rare, but that does happen. Now, in this instance, I ended up purchasing because I was given a gift card by someone who doesn't know about the fact that I don't really purchase from Amazon. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to not use the gift card because then that's just free money for Amazon. So I went ahead and, and did it. I had to pay a little bit extra of my own money. Uh, but while I was there, I was like, okay, there are just a few things that are very hard to find other places. I know Amazon happens to have it. I will get them. So the first of those being, and this is hard to find, Demons on Blu-ray. Yes, now this is put out by Synapse Films, a Lamberto Bava film, but, you know, obviously Fulci was involved with it. Argento was involved with it. Um think maybe a few other directors oh yeah Dardano Sacchetti was involved with it as well Paola Cozo was involved with it I mean yeah so anyway if you have not seen Demons and you're into Italian horror films from 70s 80s definitely you got to watch this it's ridiculous it's over the top but it's so fun it's so great I've seen this movie many times really enjoy it I've been wanting to own it but like I said it was hard to find so while I had to purchase from Amazon, I was like, okay, I might as well make the best of this situation. And getting demons is definitely making the best of that situation. So, very excited about this one. So, I said the second one is kind of tied to it, and that's because I also purchased from them Demons 2, which is actually easier to find than Demons, but I just kind of wanted to get them at the same time. Also, Synapse Films for this one. Uh, if you've only seen the first Demons and you have not seen Demons 2, make sure you see this. The first time I saw the two films, I saw them back to back, and I remember liking Demons 2 more. Now, that said, I've watched the original Demons numerous times. I've only watched Demons 2 once, so I'm excited to get into this, give it one more go, and then see what I really think. Do I really think that Demons 2 is better than the first one, or was I mistaken the first time? Now, that said, when I do go through and rewatch these films, I will be putting reviews up on my channel because I don't currently have those. So yeah, uh, Lamberto Bava again on this one, which were the others involved? It looks like, mm, no, 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 Dario Argento was, and Dardano Sacchetti, so no Ka Kazo or Kozo. Yeah, looks good, right? Exciting. So really happy to have that. Now, this is a bit of a guilty pleasure. Uh, <laughs> I had to go with, and this is a DVD that I purchased. I know some people are like, why? In 2021, are you purchasing DVDs? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this was never released on Blu-ray, and I don't know that it ever will be, because it's just not popular enough. Now, if you've been watching my channel enough, you know over the summer I went through and watched all of the Tremors films. I then got for Christmas all of the Tremors films on Blu-ray from my wife. Awesome, awesome. So I would just was left thinking to myself, why do I not have the TV series then? Because I watched the TV series on YouTube and man, was it awesome. And I found out it is available on DVD and Amazon had it. And it was super cheap too. I think it was like 13 bucks or something. So this is the entire 
TV series of Tremors. If you didn't know, yes, there was a Tremors TV series. It was on the Sci-Fi Channel. The production quality is not good. But the writing, if you like the Tremors films, the writing is good. It is in the same vein. It is for diehard Tremors fans. You will enjoy it for sure. You just have to look past the bad production, you know, the, like the early 2000s TV production quality and um, really bad CGI. But uh, And it's, it's just quirky. It's ridiculous and quirky, but it, it's a good time. And Burt Gummer's there, so, you know, what else do you really want? So really excited to have this. I will be watching through this again probably sometime relatively soon. So super, super excited about it. I love it. I highly recommend it. Oh, and I, I believe I do. Yes, I do. I have a review for it on my channel. So you can look for that. It's uh, I actually have a whole playlist for all the reviews of all the Tremors movies plus the TV series. So very excited to have that to complete my Tremors stuff. Okay, so that was all for the Amazon ones. The next one, I made one purchase from Vinegar Syndrome. And the reason for that was that Vinegar Syndrome sent out a $5 online coupon for people to use because everyone had kind of experienced delays. So if you were signed up with them on their email list, you got that email saying, here's your $5 coupon code. So I was like, I'm not going to not use this, especially when there are plenty of horror Blu-rays out there that I want to own. And I found out, I didn't actually know this until looking, um, they get some Arrow video titles uh, through Vinegar Syndrome. So I went ahead and picked up one that I was missing that I was really meaning to get, and that is The Bird with the Crystal Plumage by Dario Argento. Um, this is a good one. I've seen it. I do have a review for it on my channel. Actually, I have an entire playlist of Dario Argento film reviews on my channel, so you can check that out. So, yeah, just excited to add this to my collection and I think I'm going to do a rewatch plus uh, these arrow videos like their their cover art is always really cool like look at how awesome that is it's very artistic very cool looking love it and that's the only thing I got from vinegar syndrome and then the last thing is a box set that I was unbelievably excited about so I've never purchased from them before but family video someone in one of the horror groups I'm on on Facebook had said that family video was going out of business and they they had a physical family video that they could go to where they had insane prices on all these horror dvds and blu-rays so they stocked up and they you know posted a picture and i was like oh that's awesome you know they got it for pretty cheap and then i started thinking i was like well i i mean it's 2021 i'm sure they're selling some stuff online so i looked and sure enough they were so i started kind of you know, doing some searches, looking for certain things I've been looking for, and got really lucky on one. Now, this is a box set that I was looking for through Severin. Severin Films had put this out, and lo and behold, Family Video had it, and it was brand new, and they had it for like half price, which was insane to me, because it's usually like 120 bucks, and they had it for like 60 and man, okay, that was exciting. So, what I ended up getting was the complete Lindsay Baker Giallo collection. So as you know, I'm all about Giallo. As you can see with the bird crystal plumage, I also had three haul videos of Giallo Blu-rays that I bought. So yeah, all about that. Um, so very, very excited to add this to my collection because I'd been thinking about this one for a while. Just didn't want to pay that full price point. And it's a good thing I held off because in this instance... I, I really made out like a bandit. Now, this thing is awesome. Like, it's a box. Like, look at this. Look at that. It's it's pretty thick cardboard, so it's really good quality. My wife had actually even commented on it. She's like, that's a really cool um, kind of box for that stuff. Um, and so the reason this is the Lindsay Baker Giallo collection is that uh, Umberto Lindsay had done four Giallo films with the actress Carol Baker. So they just kind of put them all together. Um, so you can see the first one, Orgasmo, not the comedy by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, which I would recommend seeing cause it's hilarious, but Orgasmo, uh, I've heard about this one, heard it's a good one to watch. Very interested to check it out. Uh, the next one is so sweet, so perverse. Another one I had heard about prior to getting this, um, that is not nearly as interesting of a cover as the first one. Um, also, by the way, I just like how Severin, with a lot of their titles, puts them in black Blu-ray cases. It's just, it's usually either clear or blue, so the fact that they do black, I just think is cool. You know, it's a small thing, but it's, it's a thing for me. 
Uh, then there's A Quiet Place to Kill. Now, this one actually ends up on a lot of lists of, like, quintessential Giallo films that you should watch. The other three titles in this are, you know, ones I've heard about and have heard are pretty solid. But this one ends up on a lot of lists of, like, Giallo films you must see. So I'm particularly interested in diving into this one. And then the last one has probably the best title of all of them, in my opinion, and a really cool cover to it. And that's Knife of Ice, which looks really awesome. Like, I love this kind of, like, color color duplication of, of the face. And then the knife, oh, man, looks so good. So, yeah, so I'm super, super excited for this box set. It is so nice, and it's going to look great in my collection. Just look at this box. And it's in great condition. I mean, it's just kind of, like, you know, scrunched up a little bit at the bottom, like, dinged a little bit on the edge there and on one yeah but other than that like it's in very good condition and like i said it was it was still wrapped up in cellophane brand new half price i was like oh so yeah so that's it that's the end um so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh that is it for my haul videos at the moment now that said i mean i'm gonna try not to purchase more at the moment because i feel like i have enough because i said this on the last haul video but this whole stack over here are ones that I need to get to and I haven't added from this haul video or the last haul video, the ones I haven't seen. So that's just going to get larger for now. And you'll notice that if you keep watching my videos, but I need to work through that stuff. But with all of these, once I watch them, there will be reviews on the channel. So if there are any particular ones you end up seeing that you're like, ooh, man, I really need to see a review for this one, put it in the comments and I'll see if I can kind of bump that up my list and get to it sooner. That's a possibility. Um, but, uh, if you could do me a favor real quick, in addition to making comments and just talking about Giallo, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. If you're not a subscriber, cause like 70 some percent of the views I get on my videos are from non-subscribers, which is a lot. And if all those people would just subscribe, it would really help my channel out. And I'm looking for growth cause I'm trying to grow this nerd horror community right here. Uh, more comments, particularly about Giallo, would be awesome because I want to get nerdy about it. But hey, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, I do appreciate you taking the time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.